in preparation for the conference, uh, we invited photographers to send us some uh, visual documentation of on the theme of empowering community through local economy. And we were so happy to receive so many beautiful photos from all over the world. Uh, Roshni from the Systems Change Alliance team is going to present to you a short exhibit of the images representing the power of the local economies. So I'm giving the floor to you, Roshni. Thank you for joining us and I'll unmute you. Okay, I think I think I'm 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 here, <laughs> voice and all. Um, <clears throat> I have been uh, told that my connection is unstable, so I hope that you can hear me okay. But um, Carolina will share the screen with the with the photographs. So I'll just say a few words about this uh, event that took place earlier this year, as Caroline introduced um, in springtime, we invited photographers from around the world to submit images that illustrated local economies in action uh, in ways that empower local people and local communities. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we were taken aback by the, the quantity of high quality imagery that came in from different corners of the world. And I think you will see from the photographs that we've received images from many different continents uh, and above all um, Asia and Europe and Africa. Um, and it, I think what this challenge has illustrated for me personally is that when we, you know, when we talk, when we say the word local economies, it can, it can sound like quite a dry topic for many people. Um, but when we actually see the, the imagery that represents these vibrant local economies from around the world, it can really touch us in ways that the, the, the typical terminology and vocabulary may not always do. <clears throat> Although I think we can see that the localization movement is moving and changing in exciting ways all the time. So um, I may eat my words, but just to say that it's that what I what has been central to the the arts for systems change movement that we've created as a part of Systems Change Alliance is the way in which images and words and and music and dance and theater and all its different forms can, can touch people in this deep heartfelt way that invites us to act from a deep heartfelt place. And anyway, I'll let the um, images talk for themselves. Um, at the end of the, <clears throat> this little exhibit, you will see the two runners up and the first prize winner who was selected by our guest. Judge Kevin Peer, who's a, a former National Geographic filmmaker, and um, and they were chosen not only for their um, factual representation but also for their artistic merit. <clears throat> and <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Um, you'll see that yeah, the quality of the entries was was very high and very very touching. So I'll let Carolina. Uh, share the share the images thank you
So I, I think you can agree that uh, these photos really depict the diversity and warmth and color and humanity of, of the incredible tapestry of local economies that exist around the globe. Um, although they may often be hidden from view in the kind of mainstream exchange of information and, and advertising. But I think these, these images really stand as a testament to those, to those communities around the world that are working hard all the time to, to take care of themselves and each other. And I can see from the comments in the chat that so many of you are enjoying the images. So I just wanted to say thank you to all the photographers that took part in the challenge and also to our guest judge, Kevin Peer. And, and to say that we, we continue to, to run these creative challenges each time they're a little bit different. So if you're interested in taking part in using your creativity to envisage uh, a beautiful, cooperative, regenerative, localized world that we all want to be a part of, um, please, you know, check out our, our social media streams and our newsletter and we'll keep you informed of what's coming up next. So thanks back to you, Caroline. Thank you so much, uh, Rush Rushni.